All of the RecLink organisation have been a huge part of me being able to restart my life. Um, I'm not as connected with RecLink uh, anymore, but I certainly, if I get asked to do something like this or go down to the Grand Final or the Community Cup or coach the guys down there, whatever it is, I'm, I'm wholeheartedly indebted to RecLink um, forever. And I said this to, to Pete and Adrian Panozzo a couple of years ago, that I'd, I'll be here for you guys because uh, the opportunity that I was given uh, a non-judgmental uh, approach. Uh, there was no judgment made on me for, for my background and for them to take me in the way they did. It was, it was just a, a huge part of me restarting and, and learning how to live again. And, um, and I know that's the fact for many, many people that, that um, are associated with the Reckling community. They, they say the same thing, it, it's given them purpose. And I know that's a, a cliche that the guys use, but it's a perfect one for this organisation because it, it gives people purpose and it gives them something to strive for. And, um, and it's just a very important part for me. Um, as I said, I'll come back forever. Um, and continue to, to support the guys and, and keep helping people and, and be that sort of beacon to say that, you know, with the ego gone, like Gavin Krasiska, 246 games at Collingwood, what's he doing at RecLink, he's still giving back and so forth. Um, well, if I can set the example for others um, uh, that are coming up underneath, that'd be perfect.